I'm Robert Fuller, a wildlife artist and filmmaker. I want to share my favourite time of year with you, spring. It's the start of a new breeding season here in the Yorkshire Wills and all the animals are gearing up to create new life. One of the first signs of spring is the frogs returning to my garden pond. These common frogs will be here mating for two to three weeks, leaving behind thousands of tiny eggs in frog spawn, which will soon hatch. The birds are fed throughout winter and now busy making nests. These long-tailed tits use moss, lichen, spider's webs and feathers to create these intricate constructions. In the front garden, the goldfinches are busy building too. And close by, tiny wrens hide their nests amongst the ivy. But robins are early nesters and already have chicks. Mother hares hide their leverets in the grassy banks of my gallery car park. This baby hare rests during the day and comes out at night. This is the time of year that female stoats are looking for a cosy spot to nurse their baby kits. She's collecting nesting material and stockpiling food. which are excellent signs, she's going to have her kits here. My nest boxes are already full of wildlife too. There's new eggs, freshly hatched chicks, and barn owlets that will soon be ready to fledge. With all these new lives just beginning in my garden, I'm looking forward to the summer months when they'll have confidence to venture out on their own. I'm Robert Fuller wildlife artist and filmmaker and I've been busy over the summer months filming wildlife around my home in North Yorkshire. I planted this meadow a couple of years ago and at this time of year it's absolutely teeming with life. There's a huge diversity of flowers here we've got scabious, knapweed, oxide daisies and the bees and butterflies absolutely love it here. It's been a bumper season for the chicks in my homemade nest boxes and it's always a pleasure to watch them grow and fledge in the warmer months. Our pair of kestrels had six chicks this year and they're now starting to take to the skies. In the nearby trees I've been keeping a close eye on tawny owl chicks who are about five weeks old. Now they've entered what is known as the branching phase, so I've just come down to take a look for them. That's incredible, there's five of the owlets on the branch up there. And for the next three months, the chicks will stay close by and be dependent on the parents for food.
In summer, buzzards are a common sight soaring overhead. I was lucky enough to find a nest and get a camera on it quickly. These chicks are around three weeks old. Over the next few weeks, I watch as their fluffy down gives way to darker flight feathers. And they start to test their wings and fly for the first time. Though it seems not everyone is quite ready to take the leap. So there's just this one buzzard left in the nest now. I think they're getting quite used to me coming. Two have obviously fledged. And it's going to be fascinating to see when this little guy fledges. In my garden, the young stoat family that moved in during spring are doing well. And the four kits are now at an age where they want to get out and explore. The stoats have always enjoyed playing on my children's climbing frame and this family are no different. So I make sure I've got remote cameras set up to record what they get up to when no one's around. They seem to love exploring and play fighting here and I even bring out a paddling pool for them too. On warmer days, the pool is a perfect place to cool off. In other parts of the land, there's plenty happening too. These long summer evenings give me the perfect opportunity to head down to the local badger set. There's already one of the cubs out in the grassland feeding, so I'm going to creep in and see how close I can get. That's absolutely hilarious. The badger cubs just smelt me and then puffed all of its fur up, making itself look bigger. And then it's just gone back to feeding. Really confident badger this. This is one of the biggest badger sets around here. And back in the spring, I counted 11 badgers here. So this is a great place to watch them. There are at least five adults living here and six cubs. The family dynamics are always entertaining. Like this father and son scratching display. Over the course of the summer, it's been a real privilege to enjoy amazing wildlife moments like these, so close to home. And something I never tire of, whatever the season. As the leaves turn from green to gold, autumn has really taken hold here on the Yorkshire Wolds. I'm Robert Fuller, wildlife artist and filmmaker, and I've been busy this autumn filming the wildlife around my home. Birds are enjoying the seasonal berries. And foraging squirrels tussle to prove their dominance. Heisty, and they're not afraid to take on pheasants either. My cameras capture roe deer wandering through the wood. A young weasel takes shelter, curling up in a leafy nest. I spot a hedgehog searching for food in preparation for winter hibernation. And I keep an eye out for young hoglets, which won't survive without a helping hand. 
and this badger seems pretty content in its underground set. When the snow hits here in the Yorkshire Wells, it's really hard for some of the wildlife. And then other animals and birds here are actually experiencing snow for the first time. I have a network of over 80 cameras here and I've captured some magical moments in this snowy backdrop. But there's one garden visitor that always seems to enjoy the snow. The stoat. My cameras often catch them frolicking through the woodland and dashing across my children's play area. Some stoats turn completely white in the winter to blend in with the snow. The white coat is called ermine, but the black tip on the tail always remains. Watching wildlife in these wintry conditions is always special. It's amazing really, I can put in an extra few layers to keep warm, but the wildlife copes with the conditions just with a layer of fur or a few feathers. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.